Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discover a shift Grafana installation using Docker. So we will execute a single Docker command to pull the Grafana image and run the container and access its powerful monitoring interface. So it will be ideal for both DevOps experts as well as for the beginner. So this streamlined approach ensure a hassle-free setup of Grafana's robust feature. And we will learn some topics such as what is Grafana, what is Docker, the difference between Docker image and the Docker container. So let's start. So what is Grafana? So Grafana is an open source tool for performing data analytics, retrieving metrics that make sense for large amounts of data and monitoring our apps using nice configurable dashboard. So Grafana integrates with a wide range of data sources, including Prometheus, Influx, DB, Interestic Search, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and other. When connected to supported data sources, it provides web-based charts, graphs, and alerts. Now let us see what is Docker. So Docker is a platform as a service tool that delivers software in containers using OS-level virtualization. So containers are self-contained containing their own software libraries and configuration files and communicate with the one another via well-defined channels. So Docker makes it simple for developers to package, ship and execute any application as lightweight, portable, self-contained and container that can operate almost everywhere. Now we will learn about the difference between the Docker image and Docker container. So Docker image definition is it is an immutable template for the container and Docker container is a running instance of that image. Where Docker image of the content such as static include code, runtime and dependencies. On the other hand, Docker container is used for dynamic scan active executable environment. And the purpose of the Docker image is for creating blueprint for containers. On the other hand, Docker container is the runtime environment for the application. The storage location for Docker image is the host machine file system. While storage, storage location in Docker container is on the host during the runtime. And the life cycle of Docker image exists as a template. On the other hand, Docker container active during the application execution. So Grafana Docker images come into two edition, which is Grafana Enterprise Edition and Grafana Open Source Edition. In today's session, we will use Grafana Open Source Edition. But let's learn about the Enterprise Edition. So Grafana Enterprise is the commercial version of Grafana, offering additional features and support services beyond the open source vision. So its key features are enterprise plugins, access to ex exclusive plugins and data sources designed for enterprise level use, advanced authentication, enterprise support and usage insight. Additionally, analytical and political capability. The use case of Grafana Enterprise Edition is suitable for organization with complex requirements, advanced security needs, and a demand for specialized plugins and support services. So that's when the Grafana Enterprise Edition is used. Now we will learn about the Grafana Open Source Edition. Now we will learn about the Grafana Open Source Edition. So Grafana Open Source is the freely available community-driven version of Grafana. So it provides a robust set of features for creating dashboard and visualizing the data. So its key feature is the dashboard creation. It will build and customize dashboard with a wide range of visualization. Data source integration. So it can connect to various data sources such as Prometheus, InfluxDB, Graphite, and more. Alerting. It will set up alert based on the matrix threshold. Community support. Support from the open source community and regular updates. So Grafana open source is ideal for users and organizations looking for powerful open source solution for monitoring and visualization. 
but without the need for additional commercial features. Now we will execute the steps for running the Grafana on Docker. So before that, you need to have an EC2 instance connected with the help of Mobex term tool or you can also connect to put your git bash. So I am currently using a git bash. So first step, so these are the steps to install Grafana on Docker. So the first step is to run the latest version of Grafana. The second step is to edit the inbound rules as Grafana run on 3000 port number. So we need to edit the security rules of the instance. Then we will access the Grafana login page on the web browser. And then we will learn how to start the Grafana container, stop the container, followed by the conclusion. So let's start. So just update your system. Then we will install Docker. So to install Docker, just type sudo apt sudo apt install docker.io and just type y which means yes So now we will install Docker. So just type sudo apt install docker.io. Now, as you can see, it is already installed. Now we will run the stable version of Grafana by typing the following command. So just I will clear the screen. Just type Docker run hyphen d which will run the container in detached mode meaning it will run in the background next hyphen p next the port number which is 3000 and the name is equal to grafana And at last, we will specify the Docker image that is used for creating the container, which is Grafana oblique Grafana and press enter. So here you can see connect permission unit. So we need to give the permission. So just type sudo ch mod triple six Docker stock is present in the where directory run and just type docker dot sock. So it will give the required permission. Now we will type the about command. So here you can see it is pulling from the Grafana. It is extracting now. And here you can see it has been downloaded the newer image of Grafana. So to display the container, just type Docker PS. So here you can see the container ID, the images, image name, and the status and port you can see here is 3000. Now, 
A next step will be to edit the inbound rule as we need to access Grafana on the port 3000. So here you can see this is my instance and this is my public IP. So if you go down, click to security, here you can see only one port is active that is 22. Just click on launch wizard. Then click on edit bound rules. Then add a rule, custom TCP, type your 3000, select anywhere. And now we will access. So here you can see, just copy your IP address and color and the port number. So here you can see the default page of Grapher. Now we will try to log in. So just type admin and in password admin and enter login. So here you can skip this. So I just click on skip. So here you can see the home of home page of the Grapher. Here you can find the dashboard, alerting, connection, administration, the settings, the plugin, etc. Now we will see how we can start and stop the container. So the docker ps command will show the container ID and the image name. Now we will stop the docker container. Docker stop as the name of the container is Grafana, so just type Grafana. So here you can see the Docker has stopped the Grafana container. So if you reload this page, so here you can see the site can't be reached. Again, you want to start the Grafana container, so just enter docker start graph and press enter so here you can see we'll try to reload it again so here you can see the default page then to see the images you can simply type the command docker images here you can see the image id the size of the image is around 400 MB. And if you want this command, you can simply visit to the Fostech Nick site and here you can find my article written. And also the commands are mentioned here which we have learned today. So we will conclude for today. So deploying a Grafana using Docker provides a seamless and portable solution for setting up a robust monitoring and visualization platform. So if you have any queries, please contact us. The fosnex.com and you can also refer the official Grafana installation page to install Grafana through Docker. Thank you.